Hey guys, this is Steve Warbach, your friendly public adjuster. Uh, I'm doing a part two on this, and, and I never really gave it a formal title, but I, I would like to say that size has the advantage. And when, of course, we're speaking of the size of the company. There are times when a large company there, you would not find advantages. As a matter of fact, I could make arguments that you would find disadvantages. In this case, as a public adjusting firm, we actually have a benefit being larger than or over the smaller outfits. Uh, the last time I spoke, I talked about the fact that because of pure numbers of personnel that we have, and we have various departments, we're able to be more in tune with helping somebody get as much of a, 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 a claim settlement, a higher claim settlement as possible because we do have uh, people that can take time, for example, going through the contents, categorizing, uh, cataloging them, looking up what their value is, you know, putting together a, a spreadsheet so we can show the insurance company that hey, this was all part of this loss here. Well, some other areas that also, which I didn't touch, and that is, do you know, we actually have a mortgage company, which is part of our, our firm. Now, you know, you would say a mortgage company. Well, what do you have a mortgage company for? I, I'm not looking for a loan. Well, the mortgage company, as, as you can imagine, if you have a mortgage on your home, some people have a second mortgage as well. Uh, what does that mean? Well, that means that you do not actually own that home yet. You do not own that home until that loan has been paid off, satisfied, and then the passing of the deed to you. Um, because of that, the insurance companies will put the name, when it's a, a decent amount of money involved, they will put the name of the mortgage company, the mortgagee, onto the, onto the check, as well as your name and our name when we are representing you. So, uh, and then who handles that money would be the mortgage company. The mortgage company is the one that will allow certain disbursements to go. And that's done over a progression as progress is made of restoring the property back to its original condition, uh, then more, there's an inspection that takes place, a form that's filled out, and then the insurance company will send more money. Well, a lot of times, uh, people you can imagine, the mortgage company is not local to where your home is. And that means that they need to work with somebody that would be local, that they can have come out on their behalf to inspect the progression of the work being done at your house to uh, then have additional funds released, you know, as you it, it goes on. Uh, you know, you get more work done, you get more money. You spend that money, you get more then, so you can keep getting this thing until it's completed. The nice thing about our firm is we actually have a mortgage company under us. And therefore, our mortgage company acts for the mortgage company that you would be uh, your lender. And we know the importance of moving quickly and <laughs> we're motivated to do all that, where these other folks are not. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get out there when we get out there. Uh, all right, I took the pictures, I did this, I need to write up a couple reports send it to the mortgage company so they can release money to go to that other guy. It doesn't really mean anything to me. I'm getting paid to do these reports, that's it. Well, to us, it's, it's personal business because that just helps the whole process of that claim to go and to get settled completely and satisfactorily. So we, we add value by having our own mortgage company and I don't know many firms that actually do other public adjusting companies. Uh, again, when you're a smaller outfit, you, you can't really have 
some of the resources that, that you know we do. So that's a big advantage having a mortgage. And you probably never knew anything about that before. I hope that you've learned something about that. Uh, another thing that happens is, uh, what happens too? Oh, I'm glad you reminded me. Uh, we have several field scoping adjusters. When you have a situation that there's a certain insurance adjuster that's on this claim, let's say somebody we were originally going to put on, they, they butt heads. They do not get along at all. This is not a good thing. We won't put them on that. We have a staff that we can choose from so that we can actually get somebody that would have a more positive relationship with this insurance adjuster to help things go smoothly, to help things go more in our favor, which if that happens, they go more in your favor, right? And that's a better settlement for you. We get a lot more uh, given out during for that settlement when we have a, um, a good relationship with that insurance adjuster. Uh, when you deal with a small firm, they have two people. Hey, this is it. I'm stuck going out here with this. You know, th my, co my co colleague, he's all wrapped up with a bunch on his own. He can't, and he doesn't get along too well with him either. You know, probably that type of scenario. So what happens? So, you know, you, you unfortunately can suffer to a degree because of that. So, in our case, we can switch some personnel around, get somebody that it's a better fit to negotiate with the insurance adjuster, and voila, what happens? You're going to get better results, and that's what we want. We want all the results, right? So that, that's, that's, again, some of the advantages of having a larger firm is that you have just the more personnel in, in so many capacities and you have departments, I'm summarizing now, uh, we also have that mortgage company that, that, that is very, very big. When you have a, a really substantial loss uh, and that mortgage company's name ends up on that check, uh, when you see that, that adds easily a minimum of 30 days for things to get moving on. Uh, you know, and you don't want that. You want this to be settled as quickly as possible. So, you know, in our case, we're able to speed that whole process up. So, guys, I hope you found that informative. Um, this is Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. I uh, can be reached. Phone number 610-213-8820. Or you can contact me via email at Steve Walbach, W O L. B A C H at Ymail, which is the letter Y mail.com. I want to thank you for listening. Uh, please, if you learned anything here, give me that thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Uh, please share that page. Let others know about this as well. And please subscribe. Guys, thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. Have yourselves a great day. And God bless you.